Today's adventure will begin just before nightfall, current time 6 p.m. on a Wednesday evening as of the recording of this. In fact, the last day of March 2021. For whatever reason, I-4 westbound here backs up considerably. You can see over there the, the hidden Mickey power pole. Good thing, I'm, good thing I'm not going that way. Here on World Drive, there is quite a, quite a beehive of activity when it comes to, they were cones. Now the other night, two nights ago, I went to Magic Kingdom a couple hours before, well, an hour before. I need to go where that car's going. That's the exit of that, but I can't get over because of all these cones. They were cones. So I thought I would continue this mini, well, or Mickey, mini series, a, a miniature series, a small series of all four parks just before close. And I'm going in prior to an hour before. I should probably get into Animal Kingdom a half hour before because I want to go on the safari which closes at 7. The theme park closes at 8 so I'm going to get into Animal Kingdom an hour and a half. Oh look the sign's done. An hour and a half before closing. That's the plan. And while in this area, decided to uh, gonna swing through this drive-through at this pretty much good percentage of it is solar powered McDonald's right here, which currently is not open inside. But you can't go through the drive-through. Get myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage. As soon as this light changes. Just waiting here at the light. And as I'm approaching, starting to, to think. Is this the only full-size Mickey D's on WDW property? There used to be another one at Disney Springs. Well, it used to be called Downtown Disney, but there was one there back in the 90s. That was a couple decades ago. This might be, you know, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on this, but this could be the only full-size McDonald's on Walt Disney World premises. Oh, and since it's kind of getting into the, the dusk hours, you can see the... Not the golden arches, the topiary, the, the the hedge arches are kind of illuminated. Or oh, is a sunburst? Oh yeah, this thing is toasty. Woo! Toasty and warm. Had to wait a little bit. They they were making a, a new a new pot, if you will. So got some fresh brood. Okay, heading to Animal Kingdom. This thing's toasty. This thing needs like a little one of those little cardboard sleeves on it. This thing's warm. And it's less than a mile from the parking gate at Animal Kingdom. You can see that says, Welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Open till 8 p.m. And there is no one at these little stations. It says, Proceed to the parking lot. Okay, I will. Still no tram service from the parking area to the park. You can see they have them kind of stationed right over here. And the lot doesn't look too full. Checking the wait times on the app and not too bad at this time of the day. I have procured a spot right here along number 12. I wonder if 12, that, does that mean a dozen of these animals might end up roaming around? You can see I'm in the far end of the lot right over there. I'm not the, fir I'm not the first ones here. First ones here. First ones, you can see a lot of other people are exiting at the moment. But there's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of cars this direction. I just parked at the far end of the lot, near the front, so all I have to do is walk along the perimeter here. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. It is now three minutes till six. There's a bus. Oh my God. Three minutes, I guess I'm going to pick up some guests that are leaving. I am not leaving, I'm heading in. It is 6.27, which means I should be walking in the gate at 6.30, giving me a half hour to get over onto the safari, and then after the safari, I'll have one completed hour to do everything else. I'm inviting you to join me. There's another bus. Shall you? It is kind of nice heading in while everyone else is heading out. There's kind of a, a neat little vibe to it. I have to go through here. And there's World of Micah. You're kind of wedged in the queue here. I feel like I'm at Disneyland in some of the dark ride queues. Yeah, <laughs> this also kind of... 
It is now 6.50, 10 minutes before the safari closes down for the evening. And this is going to be the vehicle here, I think, as long as it doesn't pass by. Yeah, we're gonna get in this row right here. One of the last safaris of the evening here at Animal Kingdom as soon as this. Oh, Ooh, it's like we're kind of peeling out quickly. And I'm not sure why they do. They close the safari down one hour prior to the park closing. So safari ends at seven, park closes at eight on this current evening. We're going to go through a lot of refresh. There will be bushes here. It's a pretty long horn. So that being said, as we head on into the reserve, our first stop will be Little Atari Forest. Coming up into view off to our right, we will see an Okapi. And also a Yellowback Diker a little bit further back beyond the bamboo there. Yellowback Diker Bach. Our crepuscular animal, the peak of their activity will be at sunrise and sunset. Diker Bach is Afrikaans for diving buck. They dive into the bushes to evade their predators usually. Now the Yokapi, not really having the advantage of evading predators thanks to their large size there. They do have those horizontal stripes across their legs to help mimic the shearing of light through a tree canopy so they can disappear into the bushes instead. Pretty reclusive and solitary animals, both of them. So much so that the Okapi works out to be in the water. Ooh, look at that vulture right there. Oh, look at those hippos. There's like a half a dozen animals. hippos over there. Hold their breath there up to eight minutes at times. They'll do a lot of traveling out of the water at night. That is awesome. Gosh, I wish we could have stopped for a little longer because there's like a bunch of hippos right over there. Very adorable animals and also one of the most territorial animals in Africa. We definitely want to admire them from afar. They get about 16 feet long, weigh around 500 pounds, so they are the largest of the crocodilian species. Crocodilian species? Look at all those crocodiles. Reminds me of Jewel of the Nile, or Romancing the Stone, one of those two. Look at those snappers. Hey, Ira. Hey, Ira. That's my best Annie DeVita. Oh, my goodness. Hello there. <laughs> Even though they are frequently raised and taken care of by humans, so they cool. are not normally going to be used as a source of food. Unless totally necessary. No, they're, they're also pretty quick. They can, for short distances, run about 55 miles per hour. Even their babies are usually up and running within three to seven minutes of being born. <laughs> oh, wow. There is a rather large congregation so of giraffe the over there. The they get up to 20 feet tall. Oh, they're leaving. They're going into that little, little alcove. They do tend to tower over everyone else. Those two babies were probably born around six feet tall. So wherever you're resting your elbow here on the vehicle or that larger Patterson ceiling you're seeing, they're about six feet up. What are they looking at? From the ground at their shoulder. They're leaving. They're going away. Make some largest antelope he'll find oh, a couple of them are. They're also about 2,000 pounds. Okay, so they're, they're, a decent size draft. they're looking for something they over there. They'll leap eight feet into the air. Look at these. Position. Look at these Shoulder fellas. Now, male patterns are also, they're all staring at something. Of course, seeing a male in front of the female. He also has some plant life on top of his horns. What's so over like in that corner? I want to know. To leave his scent behind so it's easier to attract females. Oh. Flower crown over time because of that. Oh, I'm curious. Yeah. So their trunks are pretty cool. An elephant's trunk will have more muscles in it than the human body. Wow. The two ends are prehensile. They use like fingers, so they could pick up a single blade of grass if they really wanted to. This elephant seems to be hanging out alone, which is probably an indication they are a bachelor elephant. They're not all They do have a rounder ear usually. You're also going to see a lot of baby ducks out here with everyone this afternoon. It is springtime. Oh, a so lot of baby ducks in there. Abound. And I think they're pretty new. First time I saw them was yesterday. So. Oh, there's like a, probably about 10 baby pretty ducks adorable. in there. There are also a few baby flamingos out here. Oh. So, flamingos 
are not born with pink colorations. They get that from eating brine shrimp. The ones you see with gray legs, gray necks, are quite a bit younger. They don't well, start hello to you too. One to Hi. Years old. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and their tails will help them to keep their balance, turn directions at top speeds, turn directions in midair. A group of them will be called a coalition of cheetahs. Coalition of cheetahs? Look at that. A much better view now. Alright, we're going to carry on over to Talk a little. Oh, that's just a small vocalization from him right now. Wow. Um, their roars do kind of have a rise and fall to them. If you hear the peak of a lion's, lion's roar, oh. it can be heard up to five miles away. What's he looking at? Pretty nice way to mark territory, what are you keep track of their pride. Hello. So, usually during the day, they do rest around 16 to 20 hours. That's a good nap. It's like watching the plane land. It's like I hear that airplane flying over. He's trying to conserve energy. I keep thinking he's going to start vocalizing here. And then he doesn't. Dang. That is amazing. We're going to drive away here that is and amazing. we'll hear him in the distance most likely. Pretty strong animals. Now they prefer the element of surprise. Their eyesight is six times more powerful than a human's once it's dark out. Wow. Wow. They can leap up to 20 feet in the air. It is now 720, heading over to Expedition Everest. Hoping to go on this and then head over to Dinosaur soon after. So do not only Safari, but Everest and then Dinosaur, all pretty much within the last hour, give or take a few minutes. Got a half hour till close. Think, I think it's gonna happen. As long as it does not break down. Oh, we got the animal, we got the we got the, the noises over here in the foliage. Going straight up. The sun is still out. over these again. Yep. All right, over to Dinosaur. Look at the sun glistening off of Everest. That's amazing. That looks pretty dang amazing. Yeah. Wow, you can hear another train dropping in. So good. 
That is that is quite a sight right there, that sunset. Oh, check that up there. It like lights up there with the meteor and all that. I never noticed that before. 741, there is no one in this little corridor to the underground research facility. We're gonna follow this around. Oh, there's a few people in here, but not a whole lot. That state's time transport loading bay. We're gonna go back in time. You're basically in a time machine of sorts. Very similar to the Indiana Jones ride over in Anaheim at Disneyland. Same type of track and vehicle, except this one takes you to the prehistoric age. Wow, we're gonna do three, three rides in about an hour. Which is kind of interesting because we did Magic Kingdom the other day, and we did three, three attractions at Magic Kingdom, and now we're doing three attractions at Animal Kingdom. Yeah. I'm sensing a theme of kingdoms <laughs> And how many different attractions? Maybe we'll see the ride vehicle go by. I was down waiting here. for it to come by. Maybe on track. one side. Sometimes later in the evening they have less vehicles. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Minnie's down there. Minnie! Oh my it's goodness! Scary. Oh, that's okay, good. That vehicle is avoiding. Someone needs to rescue Minnie. She won't be down there for very long. The park's about to close. Yeah. So this side is not operating. Oh, that's what that coding stands yeah. for? Yeah, this used to be called Countdown to Extinction, Micah just reminded me. Now it's just called Dinosaur. There is no countdown. Well, there's a countdown to the park closing. Yes. In about 10 minutes, give or take. The Dino Institute Time Transport Loading Bay. You might be one of the last ones on here. Oh no, wait, look, there's no one else. That's a cast member. No one else is walking in. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Micah just reminded me. CTX Rover, countdown to extinction. The yellow strap. You gotta pull up on the strap. Gotta get that, make sure that yellow strap is being tugged. We're going in. Oh, going back in time. like this ambiance of this right here as I step down. These are some kind of reactors all through here. And definitely need to use, when you're traveling back in time through the prehistoric period, you need a little, yeah, get a little bit of that sanitizer. You don't know where those dinos have been. I don't know. Oh, this gigantic turtle type creature up top, always kind of looming down upon all the guests. It is officially 8 p.m. The park is closed. And if this wants to focus, which it might not want to focus, Went over to this area in a very quick pace just so we could see it before everyone is told to leave. And this section here usually is the extended queue for Navi River Journey, but they have these little partitions up and you can smell a little bit of some paint. So they must be putting fresh paint down. Look how amazing this looks like in evening. You can see this a little bit a little bit better, but during the day when it's very busy, which there hasn't been a lot of reservations, I was able to get one earlier in the afternoon because it's all booked up with the some people still here from the spring break but this is usually an extended queue through here it goes all the way out over over the bridge looks so dang awesome it back in here i mean even during the day it's very impressive but at night it's a, it's a whole other element you can hear all the the noises and there's still a little bit of sun up there that has not set yet but nightfall is rearing its head upon the floating mountains. The ground is definitely something to behold. You can see the pattern from the, the leaves here. Yeah. You've never been in here at night? I've never been in here at night. Oh, it, is a, wow. it is a sight to behold. Be aware of these, these creatures here. 
I've never seen these. You've never seen these? No. Sometimes they eject water out of their snouts up into the air. That's what the sign is stating. You might get wet. But they haven't been on since the reopening back in July. So they're resting their snouts. And it looks as if my t-shirt is almost with the whatever the light that's being you know put on there, the, the dark light, making my the colors on my t-shirt kind of pop out. Oh look at that. That is Okay, that right there is is worth showing up in the evening hours. If not the attractions, the three attractions I does, but goodness, look at that. Wow. And now walking by the bus station. Well, not the bus station, but that bus is heading to the station. If you go the opposite way, the walkway to the main entrance, that was Micah's shadow that just walked by. We did it. We did it. Park number two. Yeah. We got to do the other, the others. So we're two, we got two to go at some point. Not going to be, probably won't be tomorrow or the next day, but at some point, in the relatively near future, we will complete this four park last hour challenge. Yeah, we gotta have something to look forward to with this. Someone's car alarm is going off. I'm hoping to see some, some lightning over there in the distance. There's a storm rolling in. Current time is 8.33. So we got here, what, two hours ago? Yeah. What time did well, we- Well, hour and a half, technically, I think. We got here, like 6.30. Yeah, so it's two hours. Oh yeah, you're right. But we walked in the park at seven? Yeah. No. No. Yeah. We got on like like Expedition. What time did we get on the- Safari at safari. like 6.45, I think? Okay, so we were in the park. Yeah, because the safari closed at seven. Yes. So we've been here two hours. Yep. We did the safari at 6.50. I think it was like 7.20 when we did Everest, and then it was 7.30 when we did Dinosaur. I think there's a concert going on with, with horns over there. This time it's not my voice doing Metal Mickey! Metal Mickey! You set that alarm off the other night. <laughs> All right, you know, so I said there was some lightning over here. I'm not seeing any lightning. So I'm just gonna end the video with a clip I got in there of the Tree of Life. That's gonna do it for today. And the interesting thing about this as I was standing in this spot, there's a lot of folks walking forward. I'm still in the parking lot, but I'm, I'm putting in the clip of the Tree of Life. You can see all these people walking towards with their illuminated lights. The Tree of Life almost looks like a stalk of broccoli at this hour at night. Doesn't look like this during the day, but at night, there's that horn again. The vlog is over.